general concepts. Uh, this is the uh, this is the box model, and I've used the coloring scheme that Firebug uses because it's very convenient for me to have them highlighted uh, as you're working with it. So the internal area is the content, and this is the width right here as well. That's the width. And obviously the height is right here. So this, this padding, the border, and the margin all fall outside of that. Um, now Internet Explorer has a problem with the box model because they don't take the width here they take the width out to here. And so if you're setting the width and you also have padding and border, then it's actually going to uh, show up differently in Internet Explorer 6 and below, or 7 and below, and every other uh, contemporary browser. Um, so the uh, caveat to this is that if you're using Internet Explorer 6 and above and you have your code standards compliant, it validates so that your browser is actually rendering it in standards mode instead of quirks mode, then it will use the correct box model width. So this is a really important reason, especially if you're supporting Internet Explorer 6, which as of 2010 still has a very good amount of uh, users, um, you need to have your code uh, standards compliant to a T because one single mistake can throw it into quirks mode and if it's rendering in quirks mode suddenly you're getting a different width and that can lead to problems in your in your page flow and layout. Internet Explorer 5 and below, even, there, even with uh, if you have perfect code it's still going to break, it's going to use the wrong box model. Um, and as of Internet Explorer 8 and above, so 9 which is uh, just come out, um, it all uses the correct uh, box model now. Um, although I think that you can probably still trigger it to go back into the quirks mode. Um, so there are some techniques to dealing with the, the differences in width using conditional comments and things like that. But um, because Internet Explorer 5.5 doesn't have much of a user base nowadays, it's best just to keep your code valid and standards compliant and you won't have to deal with this problem really.